he defeated David McGee with that Bear Hogan pin on it. We've got more action coming up. Be back to it in a moment. To the expiration of time at a total weight of 492 pounds on the left of your screen from Colorado Springs, Colorado, Wayne Hall, and from Jackson, Tennessee, Bob Smith going against him at a total of 414 pounds on the right of your screen from Las Vegas, Nevada, Ken Lucas, and from Nashville, Tennessee, Rick Morton. A match to the expiration of time, referee Jerry Calhoun. You're looking at the opponents of the Southern Tag Champs, uh, Smith and Hall. Of course, the titles are not at stake today. It's an expiration of time match, and obviously the team with the most falls to their credit at the time the predetermined expiration of time occurs will be the winner of the match, not necessarily one, two, three, or whatever number of balls. Referee Jerry Calhoun says, here we go, one-on-one, -on -one, Bub Smith, Ken Lucas, we're ready. Big expiration of time tag match, and Ken Lucas has given away a lot of bulk to Bub, but that's exactly what he can do. When he was being overpowered by the weight advantage of Bub, he just sidestepped him and let him move right on by. Tag on Rick, who was giving away even more in terms of a weight advantage. But you see how this tough little fella handles him. Boy, he just whips him over on that mare. Rick riding on him, going for the headlock, moves into a front face lock. Bub Smith still digging. Morton trying to get a cover. Not easy on a guy as Bub's, uh, big as Bub is. Uh, and Rick, with his size, he takes Ken. Lucas takes over with a side headlock on Smith. Tag on Wayne Hall. Colorado Springs moved into waist lock, and Kenny Lucas just whipped that side headlock on him before he could complete the waist lock. Hall backs him up, fires to the rope, but the shoulder puts him down, and he's right back to the side headlock. Tag Rick Morton. Woogie! Holding on. Rick Morton. By golly, he popped him right over and down on that deck. And Morton. Dandy prospect. Another standing side headlock. Obviously, Dave Rick is never going to be 6'6 and weigh 260, but he is certainly considered a future prospect for the uh, junior heavyweight title of the world. Well, he's, he's done well. He's got a good amateur background, and as far as pure wrestling ability, he's one of the finest you'll see. He and Ken Lucas make a fine team because uh, Kenny uh, has never claimed to have the, the wrestling finesse. He's a street fighter. Boy, you put that finesse in Morton and the street fighter and Lucas together, and you've got yourself quite a team, and they do currently hold the belts. Wayne Hall in there now. Colorado Springs, Colorado. Whoa, Rick Shoulders rolled down to the mat. Referee, though, trying to keep uh, Bub Smith out on the apron where he belongs. I think Bub is just going to wander in there. Good headlock by Rick. Yanked him off his feet. Rick giving away weight to Wayne Hall, too. Wayne goes about uh, 230, 235, somewhere in that neighborhood. Rick uses good motion, and you watch him on these mares, Dave. He does two things. One, he starts pulling down with a head to get the direction going, and he kind of whips with a forward motion there to be able to move that much weight, or that much more weight than he has. And boy, tenacious, right on it. Tag, Kenny Lucas. They surprised the wrestling world when they were able to win the Southern Tag title. It came as a real upset, but we've said it before. I, I, I think while still a lot of people make them underdogs when they go into a match, I think they've proven they're for real. They're not just uh, a luck fortunate set of guys that happen to win a championship one night. Uh -huh -huh. Referee telling Rick Morton, keep out of the hair, but he does it again. 
interesting counter to uh, Hall, who was had ideas twice of sending Rick flying into the ropes. He was going to whip him in there, but Rick caught his hair and yeah. prevented that. Oh, my hand got stuck in his hair. Yeah. Son of a gun. Big Bub run out. Ken and Rick switch back and forth on Wayne Hall. Tag on the big one. Rick circles. Yes, sir. Just sheer speed he used on Bub. Bub was coming in and he used his weight to just pull him right straight on over as he went down and under him. Oh, and Bub hit that mad. It scored about a six on the Richter scale <laughs> in that ring, I think. That's tag on Wayne Hall, and Hall and uh, Smith have been rather active in tagging in and out also. Ken Lucas, Wayne Hall, big knee, boom from Lucas on Wayne Hall. Shoulder. Rick Martin pulls the knee pad down, drops with a lower leg, covers one, two, but he didn't make it go. We're coming up on about five and a half minutes in this first ball of action. Still plenty of wrestling time. Oh, roll him over. He's got a cover, two, and Rick barely got that right shoulder up. Paul proved himself a rather rugged customer there. Rick uh, had him down and uh, looked like maybe he had him in position for the three count, but couldn't do it. And when Hall got the weight advantage on top of Rick, Rick had to struggle there. Just barely got that right shoulder up. Almost dropped the first ball. But they're still in it. Reverse face lock. Rick has him chin locked uh, uh, securely in there. No choke. He's got it right on his chin. Hanging right on is Rick Morton with Wayne Hall battling at it. He tried, Wayne. Couldn't get him in about three attempts. Now he tags out to Ken Lucas. They're going to have to get him softened up a little bit more. And that's one way of softening him up. One of the quickest ways. Kenny will get tough with you. You can count on it. Just make book. Pounds that head of Wayne Hall's into the turnbuckle. Tag on Rick Martin. We nailed him with a knee. We're past the seven minute mark in action. And now Rick going for it, pulls the leg up one, two. But he cannot make it stick there. Another cover. One, two, and he's loose again. Chin locks him from behind. Thought Rick had him when he, oh, yeah. when he bowled him back in there and had the leg with the weight up on top. But Hall determined, kicking around. Drops with a leg, lower leg in the uh, middle of the back on Wayne Hall. Referee checks for a choke. There is none. Just a good chin lock, reverse face lock he's got on him. Tag from Ken Lucas over to Rick Morton. Here's Lucas, but to the midsection. We're past the eight minute mark. Wayne Hall with a forehand was gonna tag Rick Morton. My time is running out. We are out? No. That's tag on Kenny. One, I mean, the Rick. Two, we got three, it. and that's we it. Got it. Okay, first ball, Lucas and Martin. We got to take time out. We'll be right back. We're going to be back in the ring with Channel 3.